<laughs> the daily commute is, to say the least, certainly a long drag. It can be just awful, but for one local man, it's as easy as rowing a boat. Dave Scott explains. It's a little after 4.30 in the afternoon, and Joe Dittler is on his way home from work. Night, Kathy. Night, Lou. After a long day as publicity director for the Maritime Museum, Joe's looking forward to his trip back to Coronado. But while most of us would be reaching for our car keys to get home, Joe reaches for something else, a 15-foot rowing dinghy he calls Tinkerbell. It's perfect that I do this. I mean, I go to work at a Maritime Museum. I mean, what better way to get to work? The fender benders, the ticket takers on the bridge, you snatch your ticket or snatch your dollar. You know. I'm missing all of that. Joe Rowe, as his friends call him, has been missing all of that since he began rowing across San Diego Bay last August. It takes Joe 40 minutes to make the two and a half mile trip from the Berkeley to the shore of Glorietta Bay where he picks up his car and gives the 41 year old a lot more than relief from highway stress. See these pants? I haven't worn these pants in six years. While Joe is seeing less of his stomach, he's seeing more of the beauty of the bay, pleasing not only his eyes, but his ears. You know, one of the most amazing things, these piers are all made out of pilings. And at different times of the day, different tides, each one makes a different noise. It's like a symphony warming up. My biggest fear is that, um, that I'll get hit by a big, bigger boat, but uh, I'm not a very good swimmer. I guess you could say I can't swim, and that is a great reason to row. From San Diego Harbor, I'm Dave Scott, KUSI News. Very uh, nice. Very nice. I wonder if he makes it before sunset. I mean, the sun is setting earlier and earlier. Seems like a good way to get rid of the stress, though. Oh, and yes, Beautiful. what a great aerobic uh, workout as well. And that's it for this Tuesday night. Thanks so much for joining us. We will all be back tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. Next up.